Ginger Krieg Dozier, co-founder and CEO of Biomason, has big plans for how her company's bio-based tiles can replace cement. For the past nine years, the former architect has been developing a way to grow cement bricks and tiles with bacteria in order to replace traditional cement, the production of which, she says, generates more carbon dioxide than all but two countries, China or the United States. Now, a joint development deal with Swedish retailer H&M Group to create low-carbon flooring that could be used in its new stores or to retrofit older shops, shows the outlines of the Research Triangle Park NC-based startup's future at a time when more corporations are paying attention to sustainability goals. This is a big commercialization year for us, she says. This is the breakout year. Last June, Biomason hired Bert Brueggemann, previously Tesla's vice president of automotive manufacturing in charge of that company's Fremont, California, plant, as its chief operating officer to oversee the scale-up of the company's biosement with a new factory that has the capability of producing up to 1 million square feet of the material a year. The company has raised $23 million to date, including from Novo Holdings, the Danish investor affiliated with Novo Nordisk, and plans to raise additional equity this year. While still very early in its commercialization efforts, with revenue below $10 million, the big question is what it can sell as it ramps up manufacturing and licenses the technology, for which it has 16 utility patents, to larger tile manufacturers. The global tile market is $347 billion, while the global cement market is $400 billion, Krieg Dozier notes, while pressure from governments and carbon taxes, especially in Europe, should increase demand for more sustainable alternatives. The deal with H&M Group, which has roughly 5,000 stores under its eight brands, including COS and Weekday, as well as H&M, represents a huge leap forward for Tiny Biomason, even though the two companies don't expect to have a product ready for a store until 2022. Matthias Bowden, H&M Group's Circular Innovation Lab lead, says that the bio-based materials are an important piece of the company's broader goal to use 100% recycled or sustainably sourced materials by 2030. We are out to find solutions for the industry, not just for H&M. We never ask for any kind of exclusivity on the project. That I am sure is going to be beneficial for them, Bowden says. In other words, if H&M adopts Biomason's bio-based flooring for its new stores and to refurbish older ones, it could give a nudge to other retailers to do so as well. It's almost a privatization of ESG rather than waiting for governments to mandate sustainable materials, says Krieg Dozier, who for a time wore a piece of the company's bio-based materials as a necklace. It struck us as intriguing that the private companies were driving these sustainability initiatives.